when you spoke earlier, you mentioned the fact that uh, since uh, Chuck Schumer's been in office, uh, New Yorkers' taxes uh, have gone up, and the perception is more that that's really uh, the fault of Albany more than it is the federal government. And the federal government is pushing the idea that they've actually lowered the taxes for uh, the majority of, of taxpayers who make under $250,000. So can you explain uh, what it is about uh, what Chuck Schumer has done specifically that has caused New Yorkers' taxes to go up? Right. Last Christmas Eve, the United States Senate passed a health care bill. In that bill, uh, there was uh, the, what they called the Cornhusker kickback for Nebraska, $300 million for Mary Landrieu and her hospitals in Louisiana, and a $100 million health care facility for Chris Dodd in Connecticut. Christmas presents for all of those states. What New York got was a big lump of coal. It was a billion dollars in new unfunded federal mandates requiring the state of New York to provide services without the money to pay for them. That bill went to Albany, and you might recall the legislature dithered for months trying to figure out how to balance the budget. Well, that's part of the problem here. When Chuck Schumer votes for legislation in Washington that requires New York to provide services without the money, <coughs> the bill ends up in our property tax bill. And yes, the property taxes are part Albany's fault, but it's also part of the fault of the federal government for doing that. And my objection to what Chuck Schumer did, he's not a stupid man. He knew exactly what he was doing. Why did he do that to the people of New York? Oh, you're right here. You mentioned uh, a, a few uh, earmarks that, that certain legislators had asked for and received in the budget. Are you against earmarks in general, or uh, do you, uh, what's your policy or wh what's your position on, uh, on, on federal earmarks? Earmarks, as they say, bringing home the bake and the pork, they're not going to solve the problem. Each and every year, New York sends to Washington, D.C., 25 to $30 billion that we never see again. Now, if Porky Chuck could fix that problem with sidewalks and public projects, he'd have done it a long time ago. The problem is you can't. You're not going to make it up with earmarked projects. The way you fix this is you go in there and you fight to f fix the federal tax code so that we're getting more back for what we send to Washington than we are now. You do that and you'll restore the economic health to New York and you'll never need another earmark again. Do you think, you know, there's a lot of uh, states that uh, some states pay more to Washington than they take back and others or vice versa. Do you think that that should be evened out? Do you think that every state should pretty much get back what it pays in or is, do you have a formula for that? We're going to have to even it out if we're going to save New York's economy. Uh, Chuck has had 12 years to get this done. Pat Moynihan worked on it for many years when he was in the U.S. Senate. But if you don't correct this inequity, you will continue to drain billions of dollars in capital that is generated to New York that will go to Mississippi, Arkansas, and Arizona and we'll never see it again. It's no mystery that's why we're losing people. When the money leaves, opportunity leaves, promise leaves, jobs leave, and that's what's been happening. A lot of people up here, everybody knows Chuck Schumer, everybody you know, knows who he is, what he sounds like, everything. Can you tell our uh, readers and our viewers a little bit about yourself? Oh, sure. Uh, unlike Chuck Schumer, uh, I have been in the private sector. I don't believe he's ever worked one day of his life in the private sector. I own a business. I know what it means to balance a budget and meet a payroll and pay taxes. I know the pain of a property tax bill. Uh, Coming with that experience in the private sector, I think I have a much better understanding of how our economy really works. Uh, unlike Chuck Schumer, this is the first time I've ever held public office. Chuck Schumer's been in public office since he was 23 years old. Uh, long enough that he has at least once voted for every kind of tax that you could increase. There is not a tax that's ever been on the books that he did not vote for at one time or another.